hi guys welcome to the channel so a lot of you have been asking me about combat system in Noah's hat like how to fight how to prevent getting stunned how to counter stun so many different things right so this video will be about that It'll be a short guide hopefully about the various things you should take note of for the combat in Noah's hat i'm going to be explaining all this to you all right i just switched to mobile <laughs> this video is gonna be so weird <laughs> anyway back to the video now there are a couple things you need to take note of in Noah's Hearts combat system and the first one is basically stamina that's this bar right here you see that's stamina it's very important and you can only i think dash three times at once with your stamina yeah with the full stamina you can only dash three times so t stamina is very important in Noah's Heart combat system because this is what you use to chase your opponent you use it even with your grappling hooking combat you use it for various other things well a lot of things to remove stone as well you need your stamina take note of this guys use your stamina judiciously don't just dash every time sometimes you can you can do by walking you don't need to dash that's the first thing we will combine all these things i will teach you in this video in the end and i will make or i will fight in arena to showcase it now the next thing you want to take note of is for those who played dragon raja it's called super armor Remember that glow you get in Dragon Raja? Noah's Heart has it as well. So the glow is present here. Super Armor is basically invulnerability or stun immunity. With this, you won't get stunned. So this is present in Noah's Heart. This is something you need to know. I'll just show it real quick. This is me attacking basically, right? No glow. And then this is me with Super Armor on. You see it? You see that glow? that's super ammo <laughs> so whenever i'm doing this i can't get stunned i can't be stunned and the funny part is it's not only for your skills because the pole ham which is what i'm using as an example in this video because is the class or the weapon i am most versed with the pole ham has this but the other classes or the other weapon readers should have something like this as well right so you remember first stamina next is super ammo or stun immunity or invulnerability whichever one you want to call it now the third thing we want to take note of is uh, for combat system is your skills guys your skills if you open the menu and go to skills you will see that i'm using pole hand. tap on the pole hand this is your skill tree it's based on your strategy now you don't just have to upgrade everything you see i have four 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 and three i have almost all of them four but the funny part is I will degrade some of these to upgrade or focus on the others. Based on your combat, that's how you will develop your skill tree for whatever class or weapon you are using. I, as a player, I like aerial combat more as a pole arm wielder. I don't like standing on the floor or on the ground and fighting. Although it's awesome, but it's just not my style. I'd rather be, you know, doing all this and i incorporate it in my fighting so that's why in my skill tree you will see that i basically am focusing on something like this so it will help me chase the archers that like running away and this other one that increases the damage of my light attack my air light attack and heavy attack and also this one that increases my heavy attack now what am i trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you that there are passives in noah not just your skills for example, this first one here is a skill. At the right, you see what it does. It deals heavy damage. At the right is a passive next to it that increases the damage of your heavy attack. So you can see, this is a heavy attack. This is a passive that increases the damage of that heavy attack. It's just like that. All these down here are skills and this is a passive that increases the damage of all those skills. Basically, they are passives for skills. So I will advise you focus on the skills that you use the most you don't use all skills the most I, I don't i like i barely see any pole ham use this a lot in pvp even i don't use it in pvp so in other words i probably will not upgrade this very well or i might make a skill tree for pvp and another one for pve that's something to take note of guys speaking about skills if you go down here you will see silver bullet and divine warrior skills do matter and every class have their own if you check down, you see Silver Bullet, Divine Warrior, level 50. Basically, these are skills you can unlock and equip or point yourself. There's a lot of them for various classes. There are some that's for general, that's for all classes. So, 
um, you just have to arrange your usage or your skills properly right now i am using silver bullet and divine warrior because divine warrior warrior gives that invulnerability you see when weapon heavy attack is casting gain invulnerability if i remove that let's gear something else is it still on me i want to put on oh yeah put on role model now i've removed that and let's perform our heavy attack see that all right now i only get the super ammo at the last two hits you see that's it and there's the super ammo but if i put on wait let's let's also try from up here there it is but if i put on divine warrior i get super ammo immediately <laughs> that's how crazy good it is i get super ammo immediately so that's basically my strategy i i gave up more dps in exchange for um stun immunity in a way as long as you use it properly you will get it now to unlock that quickly i have talked about this before in another video you just go to trading house and you check uh, arena store these are the skill points you can buy skill points with your battle bills you gain battle bills by fighting in any of the arena be it the normal honor arena be it fantasy arena or even top deal any of these arenas you will get battle bills from fighting in them so you basically get that you buy that and you use it to unlock new skills once you once you've gotten a lot of skill points used once you've used a lot you see i've used 685 you will unlock divine warrior at 500 i believe and you'll be able to use it other weapons and classes have their own this is just an example guys now the third thing i want to get into is ability this is it ability there are many abilities and there are some that are perfect for pve like meltdown and there are some that are perfect for pvp like again meltdown and probably blessing that um, gives you control immunity bramble that reflects damage and you have other crazy stuff like soft breeze first aid that gives you instant health this is better this is good everywhere you have void void is crazy good as well and you have thunder thunder is like anyone can use this but i think thunder is best for players that dash a lot or that just you know don't want to care about this dash restriction that's thunder it will immediately start replenishing your stamina for you using thunder or using your ability you need to perfect your combination properly an example is let's say i have this leads us to phantom of course guys i just have to say that <laughs> let's say i have noah as my main phantom right and i will depending on my place if i want to go pure tanky i will want to use something like um, blessing or shield depending on how tanky i want to be so after that i use this in a pvp battle i get a shield for eight seconds and after the shield or when the shield is about to wear off i can just use this and that's another shield you can see that and i get i get super ammo as well <laughs> and it's just crazy by the time super ammo wears off i can combine it with my other skill that gives me super ammo and just keep fighting like that and having my super ammo on and you see another super ammo and it's just crazy it's just crazy so now we are at phantoms guys there is no i know a lot of players have asked me this and i know a lot will still ask me there is no ultimate phantom for all classes or that's good in everything okay just 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 to let you guys know that there is no ultimate phantom speaking about that there are phantoms that are great at certain things an example is sebas sebas is an awesome phantom for healing he is great for pve as long as it's a team pve and stuff and it can keep both you and your teammate or your other phantoms alive noah is also perfect for pve and team play as well but he's also good in pvp so noah is an all-round phantom but you should know that although i say there is no exact ultimate phantom there are phantoms that are perfect or are good for certain classes or weapons here's an example kage as a phantom kage is awesome for the blade or is it dual blade yeah for the dual blade wielding classes kage is awesome for you guys and this doesn't mean other classes can't use them but you won't bring out the full potential of kage like the dual blade as wheel or the sword and shield wheel another example of uh, 
uh, phantom for classes will be let's say kami let's talk about the, the pole ham <laughs> that's what i'm using kami kami is the god or is perfect like this guy was literally made for pole ham wielders and i can't i can't get him i've been trying to get this dude for how long Bruh. oh my gosh if a pole ham uses kali kami against you gosh he's so dead if, if used properly and then there are other classes or phantoms that are all round that's basically like if every class every class or weapon can use if that's what i'm currently using if you don't know what if is or who if is and um, this is if every weapon can use if she's great for pve for pvp for team play for solo play if is good for everything basically if is good there are phantoms like that so just know your phantoms know what you want to use and combine everything remember when you are using phantom skills that's these two things over here you don't get stunned you see I'm, i was glowing you don't get stunned as well combat in noah's art is basically a stun game and a strategy game who can stun the other who can now damage the other who can survive longest it's 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 just it's just all those things man <laughs> it's all those things now that i've told you everything to take note of let me combine it all into one fluid movement remember this is just my strategy this is just one of my strategies and movements so you can come up with yours let's combine everything stamina stun immunity that's super armor or invulnerability whatever you want to call it stamina invulnerability skills ability and phantoms dash to your opponent again this is using stamina quickly of course then super armor is on super armor is on again now you're going to use your phantom skill phantom skill use this jump up out of reach of danger super armor yeah it, it's just combo guys it's combo that's basically noah's noah's um, combat strategy it's not like dragon Raja that you you have to or most players can get by by just spamming whatever they want and putting it on auto there's no auto here there's spamming won't really help you spamming won't get you far in noah's heart it, it probably will get you killed as you waste all your skills Bruh. so use your skills wisely guys and let me show you guys it practically in a duel i'm gonna log back in on my computer <laughs> bad news guys while editing i noticed that the file was laggy well too crappy and stuff so i decided to upload this one from a different deal when i was lower level <laughs> so I, I haven't unlocked divine warrior yet so some of my heavy attacks won't have super ammo but yeah i will just be talking over this and guiding you guys or letting you guys know exactly what i am doing and what's going on right now it's against digo who is a dual blade which is kind of like the nemesis of uh, <laughs> one of the nemesis of the pole ham i don't know man pole ham is kind of weak to some classes it's weird i don't know <laughs> so i started with a and you know if i need to keep my distance from a dual blade i can only attack when i'm sure i won't be stunned that's the trick and he's coming close to me i tried stunning him but i didn't use my heavy attacks on time problem was i was so used to the heavy attack having super armor from the close beta the last close beta so me not being able to get the super armor right now it's kind of ruining my style and but don't worry i'm getting the hang of it yeah i got stunned and i just used my stun remover to stun him back and now if i do get stunned again my phantom skills are there and i still have enough stamina and that was what that was exactly what i did his noah skill was about to stun me and drag me in but i dashed and used my phantom skill to evade getting stunned that's one method guys So round two, I am using Sebas. I've learned from my first or earlier mistakes. I didn't let him stun me immediately and he wasted his stun remover so fast. And meanwhile, I still had mine, so it got him into this predicament. You will notice I have a different playstyle when using Sebas than I, I was <laughs> with Ave. Ave, I was more tactical, more jumpy and stuff, but with Sebas, I can go all out or I can stay long range and attack from afar, just like this. And if it comes close to me, I have this skill. So it depends on your phantom, your... I haven't even really used my um, ability till now. <laughs> I haven't. 
and we won that one and we have another one hopefully we can face another class or weapon in this clip i was level 42 <laughs> and uh, yeah there were a lot of let's just say there were a lot of level 50s and 40s you know just higher level 40s in the server because i've been editing and stuff and i haven't played that well again we have another opponent perfect this is a bow wielding class which a lot of people say is broken and clearly this player is higher level than me because his phantoms are level 40s like 44s and stuff so he is at least level 44 or they are at least level 44 let's see how well we will do my the way you play against a bow wielding class is different from the way you will play against a pole ham or a dual blade or a sword and shield mainly for bow wielding you want to get close right and for sword and shield you want to stay far away same with dual blade <laughs> Right now, I had forgotten how to deal the archers, so I was just going for the buff. I only remember that if you stay a safe distance from them, the attacks won't hit you. <laughs> I wasted quite a lot of my stuns. And you see, she dashed perfectly there. So, the stun I wanted to use, you know, with my pole ham retriever that would have dragged her towards me, it just didn't work. And now it's on cooldown, so I can't drag her again. The best part about Eve is she can actually break your opponent's guard you see that white bar underneath their health if it fills up it turns orange and it basically just means your opponent takes more damage you see that a hundred almost two hundred thousand damage i think at this point i realized that oh i kind of remembered how to fight against the archers that i could use my zip line and just you know grab them and drag myself towards them it, it is a journey guys now the next or second round this time i just use my zip line i believe I, th I think that's what i did or is it hook whatever they call that stuff man yeah i do have cyber so if they run away i can heal whatever health whatever damage rather they deal to me because my cyber is it's really strong I was just trying to stun her so she can waste her uh, stun removal. Archers are very trigger finger. <laughs> and she did it. Now I can actually drag her towards me and begin the stun. She ran away. I chased her using my, you know, dash and heavy attacks to stun her. And perfect. We have our stun ongoing. Not gonna let her escape from this one. Nope. She escaped. <laughs> to be honest, right now I can just wait till the end of the duel, like the end of the timer. <laughs> Because there's no way she can like gain her health back. And no matter what damage she does to me, I can just fill my health back with Cerberus. Oh, I should have continued the combo there. I shouldn't have dashed back. I believe I thought that the... What's the name? <laughs> I thought that she still had a um, control removal. I didn't know she already used it. And that's the end of the deal. So that's basically it guys remember all those stuff your stamina and all that you can see i wasted some of my stamina in that deal that's mainly because i haven't remembered my style at that point but yeah it still happens just be careful practice a lot the duel is open almost uh, almost the entire day you can just play as much as you want and i hope that this video has helped you guys please don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if this video is helpful if you have any questions comments suggestions or requests you can drop them down there i always check my videos and as always guys Thank you for watching and take care.